Hello everybody, Vergosity here. Welcome back to another episode of Futurecraft, episode number 14 today, coming to you from the Futurecraft server once again. And last time, guys, we built this beautiful little fox-powered berry farm. Although last time we didn't have the cover on it, we spruced it up a little bit. Uh, and we covered it with a nice spruce covering here. Just very simple. Very simple roof design, but then we put some supports on the inside there and hung some lanterns to give it some nice shape and some character. And we don't want our foxes sitting outside all the time. We want them to be nice covered up, and they've been doing a decent job of farming the berries, although they're all asleep right now. They're all being lazy <laughs> at this very moment. But we've managed to put away, you know, a handful of berries that are in here right here, so not the worst amount of berries in the world but in this little guy we actually had to let him out because we had a little incident with where our chicken egg uh, our egg station was over there a little bit ago yeah this happened well okay so I just accidentally let all the chickens out of here which is you know not the worst thing because I don't mind wanting to move it but we're gonna turn a negative into a positive because look at our little buddy over here He's going nuts, you know why? He's a big fan of eating chickens, so let's let him go. He's going to clean up our chicken problem for us, that's for sure. Oh, where's he? Okay, he's totally... What? It... Where? Hey, where'd you go? Where'd you just go? What the heck? I let him off the leash and he just totally split. I want that lead so I can lead you. Yes, go down there, go down there. There you go. All right. Get that little chicky. Chickadee-dee. <laughs> He's just kind of following behind him. Hit him. Now, is he sniffing his butt? And they just kind of stare at each other. He's not a very effective attack fox, I will say. Okay, so I was just reading up on our little fox friends here, and I found out something interesting. Foxes will attempt to sleep if the skylight level is less than 15 and because I put this cover on it it is way less than 15 so they're always going to try to sleep unless there is an armor stand within 12 spaces of it so we're gonna take this thing out here oh did I just okay hang on whoop and then we're gonna put an armor stand in here like that and then we're gonna give it oh we're gonna use our book Hang on, I gotta be able to click on the armor stand. There we go, all right, so we gotta give it some arms. And we gotta give it this iron hoe. There we go. And then we're gonna make it look like it's hoeing. <laughs> it's gonna be hoeing some berries. So let's see, if we do um, pose adjustment, no, nope, we wanna do pose preset. So what do you think that would look like? Uh, uh, oh my god, I don't know. Winning, lunging, blocking? Let's try blocking. Nope, not blocking. Okay, so our final decision was, I don't even remember what it was. Our final decision was, I think we went with stargazing. <laughs> Which might have to, once we put a head on it, it might look a little bit weird. But for now, it's just going to keep the foxes from falling asleep. So they stay up and working and picking berries for us. Because yeah, look at them now, none of them are sleeping now. They were all sleeping before. So, yep, now the armor stands there, and they will never try to sleep, so they'll always be going. And, uh, yeah, because I'm just like, man, they went from working all the time to when I put the cover on it, they weren't doing anything. And come to find out, they just don't work if there is not skylight level, unless there's an armor stand. So now they're always going to be working for us. So, also, guys, over here, uh, <laughs> look, we took those caves that we had and all those divots here, we actually turned it into a workable space. These are going to be our few little areas, one, two, and three, where we're going to put our few villagers, some different levels here. Then we're going to put something over here, and I'm thinking we're going to decorate it with uh, some kind of like scaffolding, or not scaffolding, but some like, kind of like we have over here. I don't even know what you would really call this, kind of trellis almost, but this kind of thing, and it's going to be holding up all of this dirt here, and then we'll fill it in with some leaf blocks also, I believe. And then I discovered that if we cut a little tunnel here, comes out to another nice, beautiful little lake right over here. So, yeah, we're going to do some things over here. This is where we're going to move that chicken farm to. 
or the egg farm, we're going to do, I think we're going to put them on a level about right here. And with the glass block, so we can actually see them. And they'll be standing on the hoppers. And yep, then they're, all the eggs are going to collect right down in here for us. So that should work nicely, I think. Maybe if we moved it up one higher, we could put another row of barrels. But yeah, I'm kind of out of wood right now. I got to go collect some wood. We got to go find some trees to chop down. We're going to go do some big oak trees chopping and some spruce because we need spruce. I think we're going to want to do this with some spruce in here. I think that regular oak is going to be too light. And I think that dark oak is going to be too dark. So <laughs> we're going to go with the spruce. I think acacia wouldn't look right, and I'm just not a fan of the color of the jungle wood at all, so you'll very rarely see jungle wood in my builds. And it's kind of funny that I say that because when I was doing my bedroom last time, I actually used some jungle in here because I think the jungle, it looks okay in certain situations, and it kind of goes with the little reddish in the loom there, and then even it picks up a little bit of the floor too. I think it actually looks really nice right there, just in small doses. You know, here and there. Hey guys, we've been working on transforming the area into what is going to be the farmer's market here pretty soon. Uh, so, yep, we got the chickens over here all looking spiffy and tons and tons of eggs coming in here. We got our tunnel built out there a little bit. And uh, we did the interior here. We did with some um, light gray terracotta and some brown along the bottom and just some stone on the floor here. And I haven't decided what we're going to do with the floor right here yet. But we got a nice ceiling installed there, covered up a bunch of dirt, and put this nice canopy here. And I think this looks really nice with the trellis coming across. And I think that's what you call it. I finally decided that I'm calling that trellis. Uh, I think trellis is maybe that grows up a little bit more, but I think that'll be okay. And just kind of tried to clean up the wall here because, you know, you can tell we just kind of cut into the side of a hill here. And it was just looking a little jagged. So I just added some spruce doors, uh, trap doors on the side here to kind of clean it up a little bit. The next thing we got to do is we need to go out and get ourselves the villagers and start bringing them back. But that is kind of a ways away and that's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. I don't know if we're going to throw them in a boat yet or if we're going to try to build a long minecart track all the way across. But we need to head over to the village breeder and get a little work going in there and clearly I need to do this wall here also so man I always just see something else as I'm looking around like no 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 I missed that right there so we'll throw a little more terracotta on there and then start getting some villagers over here and work on getting our berry trade going so we are working smarter not harder instead of running a minecart track all the way across the town over to here what I did is I had a zombie uh, infect these guys, turn them into zombie villagers, and it's nighttime, and I just had them follow me back across the town, and now we've got them right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cure these guys, and then we're going to have them make us a few babies that we'll then be able to put in our stations over here. I think that's a lot easier than trying to cart all nine guys over here and having to run that rail all the way across the town. So it only took a second or two. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to give each of them... The Splash Potion of Weakness. I wonder if I can hit both of them at once. Whoops, that's not what you do with it. All right, do you think I got both of them? Oh, yes, I did. Okay, and boom, boom. Oh, wow, they went immediately. That's fantastic. Uh, all right, I didn't think that was supposed to happen like that, but they are both cured now. Now we just got to make a little place for them to get together and make us some babies. Alright, so we moved the villagers out of this little hallway and built them a little chamber in here. Not cleaned up yet, sorry about that, but they're in a little chamber here, and the way this works is we've got a couple dispensers, and when we hit the dispensers, we're going to launch some carrots to them, and then as long as they have enough carrots in their inventory, they will breed and make kids for us. And then right in the middle there, there's a, a half slab, an upper half slab right there, and they're too tall to walk uh, under that. So to get to the other side, they have to walk across that little bridge right there. But if we have a baby in there, they are small enough to fit under there. And we have trap doors there also. So they'll just kind of end up wandering over that little space at some point. And then what we've done is if we go down here, this is where we've got the curing station and growing up station. So little babies will come down here. Here's that little water stream and they'll come and land here. And then we pick them up with a mine cart and uh, this guy's ready to go in there and then over here we've got our little infection station so this guy should I hope anyways I think we've blocked it up enough off enough but I think when he ends up hitting this 
Oh, I don't know. I might need a piston or something like that to push him off there. Hmm. But anyways, we're going to try it like this for right now. So there's an activator rail, and he'll pop out of the minecart, and my hope is that he goes... Let's see. We actually probably need to take this block out. My hope is that he falls down into there. Then when he falls down into there, then we've got a zombie in there, and he'll be standing on this little platform, and we'll drop this down, and the zombie can come up, and then the zombie can actually hit him and turn him into a zombie villager, and then we would drop him... Pull, uh, then we would pop him back up and cure him. And then when he's cured, we'd drop him back down again and do it a couple times. So let's see how this goes here. Let's hope this guy goes into that little that little uh, hole up there that we've made for him. Okay, and let's see. He's going to pop off, and nope, he's going to go. We don't want him to go this way. Get, 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 Okay, come on. Give me something. Okay. So let's do this. Oh, we can actually just kind of... There we go. Oh, shoot, I hit him. Ah! Uh, that's not good for trades. Oh, I just made his trades more expensive. Stupid me. Oh, well. All right, so that kind of worked. <laughs> it's it's definitely very manual at this point. Because now what we have to do is we have to do the same kind of thing. But next chamber up. Like that. Hey guys, let's watch this magic happen here. We got the zombie down in there. We got the villager down in there. Zombies attacking the villager. Very soon. Oh, a couple more hits. One more hit. There he goes. Switches right over. Oh, he spawned with a freaking <laughs> with a helmet on. So let me lift him back up like that. And now he is stuck in there. And as soon as this guy gets hit too and changed, then we'll throw the potions of weakness on him. Give him the apples. And look at this guy. We've got our one sweet berry for emerald trade all ready to go with this first guy. So we've got some rails here to send him up to the top. Just have to figure out how the heck I'm going to get him in the minecart. Uh, I don't know about that, but yeah, we just got to wait. Oh, wait, this guy changed. So now we lift him up, grab ourselves the splash potion of weakness. And we can actually use one to throw right into two guys there if we throw right in the middle. Give him an apple. Give them an apple. Awesome. We're going to make sure they have something in their hand because otherwise they're going to despawn and we don't want that. So I can't tell if this guy does here. But let's throw something else in there and maybe he'll pick it up. Or he already has it picked up. I can't really tell. But all right, we're going to work on getting this guy up to the top here. It shouldn't be too bad. I think we're going to... Let's see here. How are we going to do this? I think we're going to try to put this piece of stone down back behind him if I can where that zombie happens to be standing like right now. So, like, right there. Yep, so that zombie can't get over. And we've got one right there. Now, I think if we break this, he's not going to be able to get away because... Oh! Oh, shit. Oh! Oh, shit. Wait. Woo! Okay. So, we can't... <laughs> we can't do it like that. I wonder if I just run the... The rail just right up into it, if that'll work. Hmm. Or right by it. Let's see. Alright, I don't know if this will work, but let's see. We're going to just push it over towards him, and it'll run right by him. And yeah, I picked him up. Alright, sweet. So now we just got to get him up the hill. I don't have any powered rails, so <laughs> we're just going to have to nudge him along and nudge him along. Go, you, go. Up the hill. Up the hill. No, not down the hill. Uh, okay. We might just want to get a powered rail. <laughs> it might just make it a whole lot easier. Instead of fighting with him like this. Go. Oh, there he goes. See, it's not that far, so I figured it shouldn't be too hard to get him up there. Okay, there we go. And, yep, this is going to be his living quarters. Right in here. Oh, except, uh, let's see. we got to give him a shove like that. Shove him on in. Alright, now... F3 and B would show me the hitboxes. Unfortunately, I can't see where the hitboxes are for some reason. So this is kind of a little bit of a crapshoot here. And I really don't want to injure him because... Oh, this might be a little, this might be a little rough here. All right, we're not going to do that quite yet. I'm going to sleep first. <laughs> I'm a little nervous that I'm going to whack him. 
All right, so what we're actually doing here is this is going to be much smarter than trying to break the minecart. We put down an activator rail up here, and when he goes over the activator rail, it will uh, it'll kick out whatever is in the minecart when he goes over the activator rail. Basically, anything that's in the minecart will get kicked out. So goes right up, boop, and totally broken. Totally not right. Sheboygan. Sheboygan, come on now. Why didn't he just go the other way and fall in there? What finally actually worked was putting the activator rail down on the bottom there and having him fall onto it, and that knocked him off. So that's going to work, and let's see if these other guys are ready to go here and figure out how we can get them. Yep, one emerald sweet berry, and this guy just got to unlock a little bit more stuff, and he'll have that one emerald trade for me. Actually, we can do that. Let's see. If we just, uh, let's just grab some more cooked chicken. Because we can always eat cooked chicken, so it's not a waste of something. And there we go. One more, one emerald sweet berry trade. Now, I don't remember how I did this, so this is going to be a little bit of a project again here, but we're going to get him out and get him shipped on his way. All right, guys, we've been successful with our villager implementation up here in the farmer's market. Uh, we got our second and third butchers moved up here, and then we made two farmers also and got them cured and got them super cheap trades also. So let's check out how this is going to work here. We're going to walk up to these guys here. They're going to take one sweet berry for one emerald. So it's going to give us one, two, and if we can get that guy there, yep, three trades. We get 36 emeralds right away. Then we can run over to these farmers, and they give us three carrots for one emerald. So we're going to get 36 carrots from him, and we're going to get 64, uh, no, 36 more. So we're going to get a total of 72 carrots for those 24 emeralds that came from the sweet berries. So I think we got a good deal here. We've got a great food source for the rest of the time that we're going to be on Future Craft. And guys, just let's kind of look around and see how we decorated it. We did some sweet berries and some planter boxes, and just put up some workstations around to make it look like they're doing something here. A little bit of extra storage. This is kind of a little like storage closet here with some different workstations. Just trying to make it look a little more like a work area and not just like a shed kind of. Because I don't know what we're going to put back here. We were originally going to do the quartz guys back there. We might just take a selection of a few of them and let them wander around back there. We were going to do three and three and three but I don't think we're going to need any more farmers. I think two is going to give us more care than we're ever going to know what to do with. And then we went with the nice acacia wood on the floor here. I think it really comes together, the gray in that, and the stone, and the brick. I think this really looks nice. I'm really happy with how this came out. I'm not always the best at doing these kind of kind of scenes right here, these kind of settings. It's, you know, I build with concrete and straight and flat, and this has got some levels and some different walls, and I'm trying, though, guys. I really think it's actually, I'm getting a little bit better at doing this kind of stuff. A little bit better at just this not totally modern, uh, but this more rustic kind of build here. Let me know what you guys think, how it came out. Um, let me know what you would do. If you guys have any ideas, I would love to hear them. And the thing we're working on now is we're going to move this monstrosity here. We're going to move all of these cows, and we're going to put this little cow crusher kind of over here. Yep, it's going to sit over here, I believe. Oh, dear. It's not quite going to sit where I wanted it to. I wanted to sit one lower. Well, maybe we'll have to play around with a little bit, but we want to get this guy out of here because it's kind of the only ugly thing that's sticking out in the back here anymore. So once we get that, it'll open this thing up, and it's going to start to look really, really nice back here. Okay, this could be interesting here. We're going to release the hounds, so to speak. We're going to get all these cows out of here. Oh, man, this is going to be a mess, I think. Well, let's just let's just do it, right? Okay, and we got some wheat, so we're hopefully going to lead most of them up to where we need them to go. Oh, God, they're going to come pouring out. Okay, hi there, guys. Hey, fellas. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's a lot of cows. All right, guys, right up this way. Please follow me. Oh, that's quite a herd. I mean, I don't know how many of them I'm going to be able to get down into this little thing over here, but we're going to try. Let's see here. Maybe we need to get rid of this and this so we can really get around here. Oh, shoot. Wait, come on, guys. Sorry, I forgot. You're following me. I've got wheat. I've got wheat. Follow me for wheat. If you would like to be fed, come on. Right in there. Go right in there. I need a few, at least, at least a bunch of you to follow in there. Oh, dear. Ah! Okay. Well, there's an awful lot of them here, so at least a few of them need to get in there. I don't even know where the hole is. There it is. 
Yep. Yep. There he is. Yep. Get down. Yay. Okay, guys. We got all the cows moved. So here's how this thing works now. We got the cows down in there, and there's a dispenser down in there with some water. So we're going to hit the button. That water's going to flow in. It's going to push them up to the top where we're going to be able to feed them some wheat. If we can get right in there and feed them as much wheat as we can... And then we'll hit this button, it'll drop back down, and we've just installed a little collection system right here. A little barrel where we can grab our leather and our raw beef, and it looks like I stuck my extra wheat in there. Alright, now that we have moved that cow crusher out of here and opened it up a little bit, look at this. Looking very, very pretty now. Very, very pretty. All shiny with lanterns. Uh, over here we added a little campfire. Just a place where people can hang out after a long day of work. I mean, who doesn't like relaxing by a campfire and just roasting some marshmallows? And we brought some more of these uh, andesite walls that we used in the front, trying to keep some consistency around the house. So we have a bunch of andesite walls with lanterns on them over there, and we did the same thing over here. Nice little staircase. We'll probably want to do something with this levels of terrain here to break that up a little bit. And we added some more of these birch trees right here as a kind of a line, because it's kind of ugly. The mountain just kind of sticks up over there so we added those in to just kind of close the area in a little bit so guys i think we've got a very successful farmer's market for our berries and our carrots our golden carrots so we can be eating all sorts of good food here in future craft and also we put the roof on the thing cleaned up over here we got the cow crusher moved we got the chickens moved we're doing all sorts of good stuff over here guys so lots more work to do around the town though if you guys want to see anything else we're doing i would go ahead and click subscribe and hit that bell and you'll always know as soon as a new episode of mine comes out you guys have a great day and i will see you next time bye bye